What up with it, man? It's your boy Tim Guy. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? With this one night, I want to rock on my boy Dre OG React. That's Dre underscore OG React. You know what I'm saying? I be fucking with his videos. You know what I mean? And he basically like do uh, <clears throat> a comp. If y'all ain't never ran across him, he do like a compilation of like TikTok videos. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I already do my thing on TikTok, so I guess I'm gonna be posting this on TikTok after I get done with it too. But you know what I'm saying? I fuck with his page. I like what he's doing, and he putting up some good, you know, um, contents from others. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely had to go on ahead and throw the flowers to bro and give my reaction on some of the things that he posting, cause. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling this, so I'm going to let this roll for a minute. It's probably going to be a, like a nice little 30 minutes. I ain't even finished watching the video, but I like what i seen like in the first 20 minutes. I'm like, let me let that roll. So we feel to go ahead and check these out. So like I said before, much peace and love. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share all that good shit. Stay woke. Back to the coolest channel on YouTube. Look, man, I just need one favor from y'all. Smash that like button, man. Let's get this video. Like 20, <laughs> Smash the like people. button. It's free 99. Share this video to your friends and family. Look, always do your research. Don't believe nothing you see on these videos. Make it real for yourself. Go out here and do the research. But look, man, if you're going through a tough time, just know that we're going through this thing called life together. You never yeah. do it by yourself. Try up. We over here for you. You know what I'm saying? We the cool Everybody cats going through that sit over man. here and talk about the weird, the good, the bad, the ugly. But we have a good time with it, man. So welcome to the family if you uh, went ahead and subscribe, though. But look, uh, let's hop into this video, man, without further ado. Look, and don't hit that bell one time. Man. Look, for notification. Line things up. We will get lost in the sauce if you skip around. But look, let's get it. I'm about to show y'all what's in the middle of the flat earth. This information is coming from the book of Enoch. Let's see what the book of Enoch says about Bro, the middle of the earth. got them healthy locks, you hear me? This is the Rebus Negra. The middle of the earth is described exactly like this in the book of Enoch. 1 Enoch chapter 26 says, And I went from thence to the middle of the earth. Verse 2, And there I saw a holy mountain. Verse 2, Underneath the mountain, to the east, there was a stream, and it flowed towards the south. Verse 3, And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this, and between them a deep and narrow ravine, and it also ran a stream underneath the mountain. Verse 4, And to the west thereof, there was another mountain, lower than the former and of small elevation in a ravine deep and dry between them. Verse 4, in another deep and dry ravine was at the extremities of the three mountains. Verse 5, when all the ravines were deep and narrow, being formed of hard rock and trees were not planted as one. And I marveled at the rocks, and I marveled at the ravine, yeah, I marveled very much. This is an illustration of what Enoch possibly could have seen in the middle of the earth. And I believe that the North Star sits above this mountain. Enoch book good, bro. So here is a wind tracker on Google Earth. This video is going to show you what the wind patterns look like in the North Pole. This is crazy. This is the North Pole. Why is he making these patterns? Make it make sense. <laughs> So 
So on the flat earth, there is only a magnetic north. There is no such thing as a magnetic south pole. No matter what, a compass will always point to the center. Yeah, the North Pole, they talk about the center, the South Pole, they just talking about the wall. And that's real. Because it's the South. No matter where you at in the North Pole, the wall is the South. electromagnetic field and this is how we get hurricanes and water currents we live under an electromagnetic crazy at a pattern batteries. and people ain't been seeing the moon you know that Edward Casey map that actually proved that America was ancient Egypt? Those of you that don't know who Edward Casey was, he was a famous psychic that made over 14,000 predictions and was never wrong. He predicted things like cell phones, when the Dead Sea Scrolls would be found, JFK's and FDR's death. He predicted when Hitler would take over. He predicted the alliances, when they would enter. Another thing though, no, bro, we've been having cell phones and computers and shit. We've been doing it. And he also predicted that the We ain't predict nothing. We already did it. He also predicted the full shift to happen within this century and most likely within our lifetime and the pole shift is basically when the earth just says fuck everybody and completely realters its surface and chaos and destruction leaving behind very few people and this is the map of america and what it'll look like after this pole shift happens notice off the coast in the atlantic ocean there's a land mass and it's called atlantis now atlantis is actually off the coast of america and in the atlantic ocean and not the eye of the and shout out to all the new subscribers too west africa then that would make america the ancient Egypt of biblical times. And that's where thought would have came over from Atlantis to help guide the Egyptian civilization and help build it. And that's also why the original pharaohs were black. But now if Edgar Casey is right about the full ship, we should probably figure out where we're gonna be safe. <laughs> you feel me like you know, it's cool, we know everything, but we need to figure out like, where we gonna go. Like, you feel me? Did y'all, have y'all checked out the map? Know where to run. That showed, like, they just showed it on here, but I've showed it many times. But have y'all checked it out, though? It's a cool look. Now, look, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not one of these people that just believes everything. I have to really do research on my own, just like I be telling y'all to do yeah. as well. Yeah. But, you know, you always have you. a contingency plan. What? We have to understand that a lot of things will happen just like that and we won't know. Like these waves that they said will come. You feel me? Like, look, you, you're you not outrunning it. You, you're not going to survive. You feel me? So if, if that was the case, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments down below. Have y'all been checking it out? Uh, uh, what, what you going to do about it? You just going to eat the wave? Okay. Watch Elon's body language change when he's confronted about flat earth. That's mostly just a big ball of lava. That's earth. But 10,000 feet is not a big deal. Have you given any consideration whatsoever to the flat earth movement? <laughs> That's a troll situation. <laughs> oh, it's... I like it. Yeah, yeah goofy. You just don't want no juice to come out. Yeah, folks know. That's a troll situation. <laughs> oh, it's not. No, it's not. You would like to think okay. of it because you're super genius. <laughs> But I, as a normal, normal person, I know there's people way dumber than me. And they really, really believe. They watch YouTube videos which go on uninterrupted and spew out a bunch of fucking fake facts very eloquently and articulately. And they really believe. These people really believe. I mean, if it works for them, sure. <laughs> but fine. It's weird though. Elon knows the Earth is flat. Go ahead and analyze yeah, all the rocket launches. Does it look like they're going bro. to space? They can't because of God's firmament. Amos chapter 9 verse 6, God has founded his vaulted dome over the earth. 
Or in the book of Job, hast thou with him And you know what? This is the part why I keep showing this correlated with this. Because, you know, most people consider themselves to be like, well, I don't know where y'all at. I know most of the people, y'all starting to understand what's going on. But, you know, most people, you know, you can look at this book fine, right? But it says this in here. But the same people that say that they believe in the Bible are the same people that saying that the earth is round. So are you saying that it didn't God say it's split in the Bible? The dome that he put and it up sits still. and all this other shit too. It's like crazy. I, I'm just the math ain't math. I just be confused with it. Like what a big ass contradiction you guys are. You feel me? Like that 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 just baffles me sometimes. You know. But let's keep going though. Spread out the sky, which is and there's no shade at nobody. It's just the you facts. Can't make the facts. This you make know, People just gotta learn how to get out their feelings. Like how can you? <clears throat> you're supposed to believe in this book, so like it's. Oh, well, God lying? He lying? Oh, okay. He mm, told that to him nothing. That's the problem. Has a molten looking glass. Here he is throwing up this hand symbol. There's also Elon with the upside down cross and the Baphomet, which is the spirit of the Antichrist. The Bible tells us the number of the beast is 603 score and 6, which is 666. Or how about Elon Musk's brain chip and I ain't gonna get into the six neutrons, the Bible six tells electrons, us you know, I ain't gonna get it. great, rich and poor, and bond to it. receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he had that mark. And you're telling me he's running all these companies at the same time? I don't think so. The Bible says, have no fellowship it's good with the foolish talking, deeds of darkness, but rather but expose them. I'm not afraid of you, going, Elon. Bro. But if I were you, I'd be afraid. That ain't, that ain't, God bro. bless you guys. Don't it's forget crazy to like and follow think the so you can stay is. tapped in with the truth. I'll see you in the next one. Wait till everybody find out. Everybody finds it out slowly. In the words of Captain America, I can do this all day long, but I've done this. I've picked on SpaceX, I've picked on NASA. I wanna take a fresh approach here. This is Werner Von Braun, and we all know Elon Musk. Werner Von Braun, the founder of NASA, wrote a book over 70 years ago called The Mars Project, and in it, he prophesied that a man named Elon would colonize Mars. Now, if I were to use this man as a puppet to do some soft disclosure, to start letting people know that, hey, space isn't real and there's a firmament and that we've been sending these rockets nowhere if i wanted to start letting the people know the first thing i would do is i would use a guy's name from 70 years ago that was in this book and people would say there is no way that's just too big of a coincidence and it would start the wheel spinning next thing i would do is i would start creating fake imagery of rockets landing and i would clearly put birds flying backwards in it to get the wheels spinning more and then, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> then I would tell the people I'm putting a test bro. on space because there's, there's no way that's actually happening. There's no way people would believe for that. Boy. So they would start thinking even more. Hey, and then, disrespect. not only would I tell them that, I'd put some images up there that say, hey, if you start figuring this out, don't panic. Okay, things are gonna be okay. And don't let nobody tell you that. Hey, research for yourself. By having glitches and saying, oh my gosh, look, it's actually in a studio, it's not in space. And then I would send some things Absolutely amazing crash them to into the firmament. To you for, and you can see it, but from the ground, it almost looks as though, it almost looks as though a cloud of smoke with its own mind is just shooting through the sky. Get stuck. What are the Hunger Games And then they ride across, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know. It hit, and then it what are the just travel for? across. And then it come back down. You ain't, ain't went nowhere, Hunger did nothing, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Early payday, just fee free cab, overdrafts. Bro. No monthly fee. Uh, stop Chime, cap. the number one this most loved banking app. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In the firmament. Absolutely. I would send a rock. At this point, I couldn't. I, it, it, it looks amazing, but at this point, I really couldn't tell you what exactly is happening. Of course not. not. Elon's like, guys, I have told them there's a Tesla in space. I've literally sent a rocket and crashed it into the firmament to the point it gets stuck. I've done all these things, and these people will believe everything. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'm just going to straight up tell them in Twitter that the world is flat and I can't get past the firmament. Man, these people, they'll believe everything. Then change the Twitter.
Hey, but you gotta understand though, Elon Musk he he has a, sense of, a weird sense, a very I think weird sense one of humor where it's like kind of hard to read sometimes, you know. But we didn't see the things that he would say, even with cryptocurrencies and stuff, he would make certain cryptocurrencies go just from saying a word. So, you know, people people love to take his his word serious. But it's kind of hard to read because he 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 was sending. He's the king of like misdirection, so you never know what direction he's coming from. That's what I see from my assessment. Y'all, let me know. Y'all fill in the comments. Yeah, Elon Musk. Yeah, I had to look that up real quick. Yeah, I thought I went tripping. Like, hold on, think he on it. Something to think about, bro. Put it right in your face. Dust storm coming to the Caribbean. A huge dust storm video. from the Sahara. How did the dust from the Sahara reach the Caribbean so quick? Yeah, I remember this I mean, came Africa out before I went to Africa. They tell you. Question everything. Everything is a blasted lie. I had an auntie that worked for the airline, Air Jamaica to be specific, for many years. And right before she retired, the pilot told her, direct flight to Africa is only three and a half hours from Barbados. So why oh, are you I'm telling you right now. Those blasted witches. Why they send us to Italy? There's a reason why they. We are all your so to go to Africa. So. You have a question now? Yes, my beloved. Three and a half hour flight. That's what the pilots told us. Directly from Barbados. That was wrong. Oh dear, yes. Now look at Greenland. Okay. Now look at Africa. Okay. The two land masses appear to be roughly the same size. Yes. Yeah. Would blow your mind if I told you that Africa is in reality 14 times larger. Yes. The moon will show you. Here we have Europe drawn considerably larger than South America. When it's 6.9 million square miles, South America is almost double the size of Europe's 3.8 million. Alaska appears three times as large as Mexico, and Mexico is larger by 0.1 million square miles. Germany appears in the middle of the map and it's in the northernmost quarter of the Earth. Wait, wait, wait. Relative size is one thing, but you're telling me that Germany isn't where we think it is? Nothing is where it's up to you. Where is it? To think about what they're showing you. Only three and a half hour direct flight from Barbados. The same. Hmm. Is there something I don't want us to see over the sea? I currently see they are making money, currency, off of our ignorance. So get with it. Question everything. This is the time of revelation. You know, see what I'm going that's where everything you learn and start reading. It looks like You're this. You. How many of you have ever seen this map? Seen that map. Isn't this the map that you use K through 16 in the United States of America? Now, folks, look at this map. According to your... So this is one I keep telling y'all, like, as a, as, a, as a group, like, all the fighting shit is stupid, right? Over dumb shit. We have to understand, like, I'm gonna keep saying this, we have all been taught the wrong shit. And a lot of people have a superior complex and that's how the outside world looks at us too as well like other countries as a group y'all so white black all of us that stay here right because of the indoctrination and what they've done to us in the school systems here that would build like jails and you know how that went for uh, especially us the people that look like us they treated us like prisoners at school and a lot of y'all can't relate to that shit but that's that's, that's how it was but at the same time they taught us you know bullshit that's purpose. real that's why real. would they purposely make our stuff seem a lot bigger than other countries and shit like that other continents it's, it's, it's just wild bro. Like, the war is real and, 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 and you gotta think that affected a lot of people's mindsets as adults and what do we have now we have a bunch of ignorant adults that can't learn anything new because they were taught that they're better than everybody, they're superior than everybody, when that's not even the reality of the thing. But let's keep going, though. So, your social studies teacher. She, what she is been where? coming out talking about a lot of truth for a while. Remember, the center of the earth. Then, if, if this map is correct, 
then Oprah Sydney noted Queer you. must be here, and Chicago has a tropical climate. Now, I ain't gonna say that no. Look that we use in the schools. Look where the United States is in the middle of the world, right? Watch your face, ah, though. Here's the USSR, which is no more, of course. Mongolia, China, Africa, uh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Now look over here. USSR, Mongolia, China, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Twin is here. We have two Indians. Did you know that? Now, people, this is a flat-out lie. Look at the size of Greenland and the size of South America. According to your social studies teachers, what were continents? Largest land masses on the face of the earth, right? Now, do you know the continents? Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, and South America. Did I say Greenland? Well, Greenland isn't a continent, but it's a huge land mass according to this map, right? The map is a flat-out lie, people. If you read the legend on the map, here it says, in fact, South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. <laughs> now, look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be, and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. These this all are lines. image that teaches children a Stop lot. The cap. And another lie is, you know, we inhabited every piece of real. land before anybody, but it was whatever, though. That's real. We inhabited all these lands. All right, y'all. I need y'all to watch this video. After y'all watch this video, comment. After your comment, share. We need to know what's going on with the moon. Please comment, mm, like, we and go. share this video. If the moon has vanished. All right, you guys already know the deal. This video was made 100% for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered factual. It's all fake. This video is 100% speculation. It's my opinions, my theories, my thoughts. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and say that I'm an actress and I'm practicing my movie lines. Hopefully that's good enough. Now let's get into it. Okay, so have you guys heard that apparently the moon disappeared? I shit you not. So I've been hearing this, this video days. of it like running away from a UFO or something. I don't know. Watch for yourself and let me know what you think's happening. All right, the moon is moving in the sky. It's running away from this craft. I don't even know what that is. Look at that. I'm standing still. I'm leaving my camera still. That's the moon moving away. And that thing's chasing it. And I sit still. Look, the moon runs away from my camera. I'll put it all the way over here and watch. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's running away from this craft. It almost seems like it's changing directions, like it's not going straight. Hey, I seen y'all comments on the last time I showed this one right here, right? But this is gonna go into something else. But uh, y'all said, I seen the comments, y'all said it might be being told by something. And look, any, any of these things is a possibility. Somebody tell me what's going on here. I've never seen this before. The moon is literally running away from the thing. Man, he's crazy. And man. apparently, ever since that video was posted, people haven't been able to find the moon. I have no clue, dude. All I know is I heard this, and then I went outside last night to see if I could find the moon. Tell me why I couldn't. Like, the moon's always in the same spot, like, every night. And it wasn't there. And then I even went outside, like, put a coat on, got fully dressed, went outside, walked up and down the street, did circles in the sky, looking everywhere. No moon. Hey, that makes sense. Then I get online to see, like, is this really a thing that people are posting about? And I find all kinds of videos. Here, look at some. If you look outside today, tonight, I've looked everywhere. There is no mood again. This is the second or third night in a row. This is the second night in a row. There is no mood. It was like this after the full do. solar eclipse we had. It was like for three or four days. That right there is a star. There is no mood out. This is not supposed to happen. No moon for a week now. So now this. What the hell is that? So I don't really know what's going on. All I know is I cannot Ooh, wait. wait this is turning my mind. What is this going moon. real searching. fast? And I'm not saying the moon's a spaceship or anything, but like, do you guys see the Truman Show where they have the base there and like all the other conspiracy theory movies? Can't argue right? with what so, I just asked. Just like a food for thought. Just my wild brain thinking away, right? They say like something. The, you know, the just... and cabal were like. Oh, it's we crazy. know we're gonna get busted, and let's make everybody think we went to the bunkers or hiding out or whatever. But really, let's get in our freaking moon spaceship and get the fuck on. <laughs> and they did, and now the moon's gone. And like, I don't know, I don't know. 
But I'm just saying there are all those conspiracy theories saying that like the moon was that brought moon here honey. and it like traps it's, your souls or whatever. Luminary. That the no. moon's like harvesting the on the planet it. and like keeping it here or whatever, right? I don't know. Just something crazy to think about. But for real though, where's the moon? And I don't want to hear anybody in the comments That's talking about talk. this. This is so fake. I Google that. Like, bro. Google's it do be a lot of um, okay. chemtrail issues with that too, though. I'm telling you, you know, I sometimes not find you might not it. see it. Anyway, anywhere. So I'm gonna need all of you guys tonight to go outside and just please look for the moon. I share and follow for me. Hey, facts though. That's what people do. Like, yeah, that's not the trap. Okay, look, just like uh, you know uh, how they lie to y'all and they show you uh, the NASA people in outer space with green screens and stuff glitching out right. and everything else like that, and y'all still want to believe that? I'm not saying that. That that the Earth is round. I'm not saying it is flat, but one thing is they're completely lying. Now we don't. All of a sudden, we don't have the technology to go to the moon. Hey, come, come on, man. Now I'm we don't. Saying, bro. We right now, ourselves, people. We're the PS5 out right now. Xbox and Plus. Stop playing. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. I've been seeing that a lot, like, times I see it a lot. It's time to go in the house. <laughs> Man, it's like, I see the moon bright a lot. But it, it, I, ain't, I didn't see it tonight. I ain't see it. That's like a roach the, that you can't like, like the, you know what I'm saying? You seen a big ass roach and days, then that motherfucker like I ain't okay. disappear and you can't find him. Oh, he, you gotta die before I go to sleep. You feel me? Like, oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. One of us gotta go. <laughs> not gonna be me. You feel me? Like, that's how, that's how it is. Or a spider? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially his size. Damn, bro. When I'm, when I'm looking at the, you gotta show that you gotta show them some love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hit the little like button over in the corner. Nah, it might be in the video. Like some videos when they post and they little post, it got a little like rack and all that. It don't be real overlapping, make you think one thing and then be another. <laughs> Damn. And the ground shook while he was on the live. This thing is going down. You ain't even thinking about it. What you ain't even thinking about. Not around you. If you know, you know. When I say that, I did hear about that. I ain't see this video though. This is crazy. This is my first time seeing that. You ain't seen that too. This is why I ain't seen that in too many, too many other channels. It's crazy. The earthquake happened in Iceland. Now I'm into this, cause I'm looking at some. I ain't, I, I ain't seen this. I was uh, this far into the video, uh, so we could thug it. And I'm to just saying though, that sound like some, 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 seem like some harp action or something like that. You see the energies in the sky? That yeah, just I seen that. The volcano, but I understand that auroras and all the other stuff. But come on. Now. They crying too. They crying. There's some cries in there. Hey, that's all you got? She couldn't run no faster? <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, so going in, hey, it's perfect. That's spiritual right there. I didn't even know where it was at. But it says a 30, you know what I'm saying? 30 30. I'm going to leave it right there. And, you know, to give whoever, if I do reactions and stuff like that, they little flowers, cool, you can go and watch the rest of that. Because I was so into it. I started going over into, I think I watched 20 minutes. You know, I put an extra 10 in there, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Definitely go support, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me, I do that too, you know what I'm saying? Dre underscore OG reacts. You know what I'm saying? I love his videos. You know what I'm saying? On the, on the, on the spiritual side of the talk, the two biggest bros that I love to watch is... Dre, you know what I'm saying? I love to watch Dre and I love to watch uh, Brother Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? They be killing it. But you know what I mean? With that being said, you know what I'm saying? I give y'all thoughts. You know what I mean? Sure. Def definitely sure. You know what I'm saying? I'll go to his bro page. Sure. Watch it. You know, give him his flowers. That's free 99. Just hit the little boop boop. Like that mother. You know what I'm saying? But you know, hit the like, hit the little bell, you know, subscribe, all that good shit. Shout out all my new subscribers too. That's either knowing everything I've been saying from Africa side of it, seen it, or brand new, don't know what's going on. They run into other things like this. Spiritually, everything hit different on all sides. But with that being said, much peace and love. Shout out.